cordless product manager here at Milwaukee Tool. I manage our batteries, chargers, and then outdoor power equipment. Today my goal is to get you more excited about outdoor power equipment than you have been in a really long time. What do you guys think about that? Woo! Does that sound good? I mean, need, need you guys to keep up the energy through this rotation. We're going to have a lot of fun. So handheld outdoor power equipment is used by professionals every single day, right? It's not new news to you guys. We saw a tremendous opportunity with our core technologies. We have our power state brushless motor, our red lithium battery packs, and our red link plus intelligence to couple that with our research and development process and deliver something truly game changing to the industry. But it all starts back at the user and your readers, right? That's the Milwaukee mantra. Regardless of technology, we have to start with the user. So we went out all across the United States, visited with a variety of users, anything from maintenance repair, the whole way up to commercial landscape maintenance. So the entire spectrum to understand their needs for performance, ergonomics, and durability. And what you're going to see here today is that this M18 fuel family of outdoor power equipment will obliterate any 18 volt product that's out there and will also outperform higher voltage products on the market. All while having full system compatibility with over 100 tools on the M18 platform. All right, let's get started. Let's go over the street trip. Come on in. Let me know if you can't hear me. So I get really, really excited about, about this, this category and this string trimmer is something special, I'm telling you. This, the M18 Fuel String Trimmer has the power to cut thick brush. It has instant throttle response. So you pull that trigger, it's immediate. And it delivers unmatched runtime. So first, let's talk about the power, the power generation of this product. We're utilizing our largest power state brushless motor in the back end of this tool and run a solid drive shaft the whole way down to the gearbox. So when you pair that motor with about a six foot shaft and you're running a few thousand RPM, it wants to maintain that inertia. It has a ton of momentum, so as soon as you come in contact with anything, it just plows right through. So this is not your grandmother's string trimmer designed for only light trimming, right? And you're gonna get your hands on that and see it a little later. Now the other thing I wanna talk about is the placement of the motor. The critical thing with the string trimmer when you put it in a professional's hand is that it feels right, it has the right balance, right? The right ergonomics. A lot of the competitive products out in the market today, from a cordless perspective, place the motor near the head of the product. Why do they do that? Because it's easy to execute and it's a lower cost solution. Now what's the issue with putting the motor at the head of the string trimmer? Long wire right there. What's that? Long wire right here, power source right here. Yep, that's a good one. What else? Weights on the bottom. Yep, so the weight's off, long leads. Exactly. Yeah, so that's the business end of the product. So you're going to get a ton of debris, water exposure, everything to your motor. So you guys covered it, right? So with having our, utilizing our power state brushless motor in the rear, with the drive shaft, we deliver the best performance, the best ergonomics, and the best maneuverability. Now when we throw our new Red Lithium High Demand 9.0 battery pack on that, we take runtime to another level, right? So it's going to be able to power that trimmer beyond anything in the market. We do have a variable speed trigger on this string trimmer, and this is critical because of how the products are used. So with the professionals, when they're going around product, they're constantly feathering the trigger, right? So they don't always need full power all the time. So it gives them full control of the power curve range. The other thing we have is a high and low speed settings. So low is fantastic to extend your runtime, if that's your biggest concern. And the other nice thing about having this low setting, the way we have it set up, is that it has plenty of power to do your standard grass trimming, so you won't have to feather the trigger as often. So that means less fatigue. Less fatigue for your readers when using the product. Now the other thing I mentioned with the trigger is that instant response. It's faster than anything you're going to see out there in the market, whether it's cordless or gas. When you pull the trigger, it's immediate. So moving down from there, we have what's called a solid drive shaft in this string trimmer. So in the market, you see, uh, with gas trimmers, you see a flex shaft and a solid shaft. We're utilizing a solid shaft uh, 
to deliver instantaneous power. Uh, and we feel that it's going to be able to do that, pair with our motor, to deliver the best response time possible. Now another common user frustration for string trimmers when they're going into thick brush is getting brush uh, and material wrapped around between the head and the guard. Right? I see a couple heads nodding. I think a lot of you have experienced that. I'm sure your reason experienced that. Fine. So with our design, we actually have an offset guard away from the head and the gear case to eliminate that variable, the material building up there. Finally, arguably the most critical part of the string trimmer is the head. We go out talking to your readers, the professionals, reliability and durability are absolutely key for these products. A lot of competitive products that are out there today, from a cordless standpoint, use what are called like miniaturized heads. The reason they put these smaller heads on the product is so they can chase their runtime number, right? Because it's a lower mass on the front end of that product. We're not willing uh, to sacrifice any feature set for what the pro demands. So because of our technology, we're able to put a full-size head on the front of this thing. Now there's a couple benefits of having this full-size head. One, you get a lot more capacity. Right? So it's going to get this, the, the capacity that they uh, use on a daily basis with the professional equipment they have today. It'll hold both 080 and 095 line. The second thing is actually the reliability and how that line is wound in that head. So as I mentioned, a lot of competitors use these small heads. Now what happens is when you're wrapping that, that, walk, that line around the smaller head, it creates a greater memory effect. So that line's gonna sit in there, create a memory effect, and then when you go to bump it, it could create a backlash within that head and then not feed reliable. So by extending that out, having it, it's less memory, more reliable feed. One final thing I wanna mention about the string trimmer is the cutting swap. So we have an adjustable 14 to 16 inch cutting swap. 14 inch is ideal for uh, anybody chasing the runtime, or sorry, that's very concerned about the runtime, and they want to extend it as much as possible. And then 16 inch is ideal for clearing as much uh, material as possible in a single pass. A great example of this, when this is utilized, uh, is a process called floating. So what I mean by floating, when a landscape maintenance crew uh, goes through a property, the mower will go around different obstacles. Let's say a utility pole, for example. And what ends up happening is they leave a large chunk of grass that's untouched, and it's the string trimmer's job to come back behind it and clear that out. So with the larger swath, they're going to be able to clear it faster. It's also going to be a more even surface, so it doesn't create any peaks or valleys within that. Regarding the pro usage for the M18 fuel string trimmer, uh, there, there's a very, sorry, excuse me. Regarding the usage for the professional, this thing is a full replacement when it comes to maintenance repair, right? So maintenance repair, they often outsource uh, to a landscape maintenance professional for the property they're working on. However, they will have stuff that they have to do. So whether it's clearing brush or anything, any uh, standard maintenance around the building, full replacement. Now when it comes to landscape maintenance, both residential and commercial, this is a complement to their system, okay? So this is gonna complement the gas equipment that they use today. Now, enough of me talking about the trimmer, I'm gonna show you in action. Uh, does everybody have safety glasses? Make sure you have safety glasses. If you don't, we'll get you a pair real quick. What's the line size? What's that? The line size. Uh, so we have 080 and 095. Okay. So what I'm going to show you here, I'm going to first begin with a competitive 18 volt professional power tool brand. And I'm going to show you the performance that you can expect uh, with a system like this. Other of you want to know too, just notice the long ramp up time when I pull the trigger. It takes a couple seconds to get here. Effort, right, but it bogs down, doesn't necessarily have the power to cut thick brush. So take the M18 fuel string trimmer, same application. Once again, I pull out trigger, get that instant draw Show you 
the performance you can expect uh, from a competitive high voltage system. So you guys got the walkthrough from Paul regarding voltage and lithium ion technology. This is uh, arguably the number one leader in outdoor power equipment in the world. And I'm going to show you what you can expect from a higher voltage platform. So they're in the same ballpark as us in power. Now the great thing is that we're going to take it a next step further uh, with the runtime. So we're able to hit that power level of the high voltage system and outperform them when it comes to runtime. Any questions on the string trimmer? Did you have a reverse direction on, on there? No, no reverse direction. So it, 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 the uh, tool goes in a counterclockwise direction.